friends, yes, welcome to another episode of Nintendo Nightcap, bringing you all your latest Nintendo news, three huge stories to tell you about, because we got to talk about Phil Spencer, the Xbox boss, talking about Call of Duty on Nintendo platforms, we're going to get into that, then Analog 3D are releasing their own 4K N64, we're going to get into that, and then my good friends, take your ones out, yes! Because Hogwarts Legacy has been revealed and dated for the Switch. We're going to get into that also. But before we do, if you like the content, you like what you see, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, and that bell helps us out. And then get a chair right there and sit with us as we get into today's first story, which is, of course, Analog 3D releasing their very own 4K N64 console. Yes, this is exciting news indeed. It comes from Analog, who are famous for recreating retro consoles with their modern hardware, and now they have turned their attention to the N64, which many said was impossible due to how difficult it is to emulate the N64 games in the first place. Something Nintendo found out when they tried to emulate Ocarina of Time last year did not come out great, though it was fixed. But this is very exciting indeed. Only a few details have been released so far. We have a little glimpse of what the console may look like, as well as the controller. But the founder did say that it will be 100%, 100% compatible with all N64 cartridges. Will run, of course, on all modern TVs. So this is awesome news. If you, like me, have a copy of Blast Corps lying around, feel free to plug that sucker in. All we know is that it will be out in 2024. Price to be revealed. This is one to definitely keep an eye out for. Right then, next up, Xbox boss, difficult to say, Phil Spencer, the rat who was recently caught in leaked emails talking about trying to buy Nintendo down the line, has redeemed himself because this time he's been talking about Call of Duty on Nintendo hardware and he has spoken about it being 100% parity with other versions of the game. He mentioned this in an Xbox podcast and he had very interesting things to say about the version on Nintendo consoles and how it would go. This is what he had to say about it. I don't want you to feel like there's content you're missing out, there's skins you're missing out, there's timing that you're missing out on. That's not the goal. He continues. The goal is 100% parity across all platforms as much as we can for launch in content. I say as much as we can on parity because clearly some platforms have resolution and frame rate differences just based on perf, but there's nothing else. We have no goal of somehow trying to use Call of Duty to get you to buy an Xbox console. I don't believe that, but nonetheless, let's continue. He says, we've been on the other side of some of those skins and times. Even this beta wasn't on Xbox in the first week. I just don't think that helps the community i don't think that helps the game so the focus if you're a playstation player a nintendo switch player he says nintendo player a pc player or an xbox console player i want you to feel 100 part of the call of duty nation there you go amazing news from the big boss of xbox not only are we getting call of duty back on nintendo consoles in the future but the fact that they're going to be aiming for 100 parity across all versions is incredible news for Nintendo fans going forward. It means a few things. One, the fact that we're getting big games like this in the first place is awesome, but that they might come to Nintendo consoles day and date with the other versions. And hopefully they're going to be much closer in visual fatality as well as performance. This is, of course, hinting that all the rumors talking about the Switch 2 using DLSS to achieve and bridge that gap with the newer generation of consoles. So this is very, very exciting. Despite what you may think about Call of Duty, it is still a huge draw and really big news it coming back to Nintendo. Talking about competitive shooters like Call of Duty, we only need to look at how Switch players are playing games such as Fortnite and Apex on 30 frames per second against other players on PS5, Xbox and PC who are playing on 60 frames plus, giving us a massive disadvantage. But this is something that looks like it's going to be disappearing in the future with Nintendo's next hardware. So very exciting indeed. But let me know what you think in the chat. Are you excited about this announcement? Are you looking forward and will be picking up future Call of Duty games on Nintendo's next hardware? Let me know. Now for the last story tonight. Yes, my friends, it's time indeed. Get those wands out. Get those spell books out. Get those silly wizard talking hats out because Hogwarts Legacy has finally been revealed on the Nintendo Switch and dated. And that date is November the 14th, less than a month away until we finally get our hands on the game that's been delayed for what seems 
forever. It was shown, of course, at Nintendo Direct back in the days of Jesus. And then after being released on Xbox, PS4, PS5, PC, everything to huge reviews, amazingly high reviews. Everyone's been enjoying it. We finally have it here. Nintendo has revealed this on their official Twitter page with some screenshots in the eShop that you can look at here. And I think they look a lot better than what some might have hoped or expected. They look very clean indeed. Now, we have not got any running footage yet. So this has led some to believe, or not to believe, to be skeptical of the performance the game will have. Um, I'm not sure myself, people had the same concerns about the versions on the PS4 and other last gen consoles, and they turned out really well. They ran exceptional, actually. So I'm hoping that these large delays have gone straight into, you know, the optimization of the game and that we will get a, you know, competent running game, hopefully in the region of 30 frames. But so far, I'm pretty hopeful. I'm pretty hopeful indeed, and I'm very excited. You can, as I said, pre-order the game. You get a little Onyx as a bonus, which you can use for spells, and I think you can ride on instead of a broom. I don't know. I've only read two of the books. I've only seen one of the films. I haven't played this because I've been waiting forever for it to arrive on the Switch, and now it has. So let me know in the comments. Are you excited about it? Are you going to pick it up on the Switch? What do you think of the screenshots? Are you worried about the performance of the game since we haven't seen any footage let me know but this is a very momentous time i'm very excited right now i'm waiting for this game batman in december mario wonder this week oh man what a beautiful time it is to be a nintendo fan so let me know this is the video for today i hope you all enjoyed it plenty of very good news for nintendo fans but uh, i will be back of course tomorrow with all other nintendo news until then my friends have an awesome one bye